Hello, my fellow seeds, and welcome back to another episode of Tug. My name is Josiah, and today is the highly anticipated massive bill. Now, before we begin today's episode, I just want to point out that a few things went awry in building this, which is why it took so long to make. The first thing that happened was I actually had a massive amount of land just flattened out, but the world ended up becoming corrupted and I had to delete and start over. That set me back about two days. The other thing was apparently this world ran out of memory? And I'm sure I'm saying this incorrectly or not putting technical words that I should be using to this, but essentially what happened was I had so much memory stored up in this world that every time I tried to move or update the game or move away from where I was originally, the game would just crash and I couldn't record any of what you're seeing right now. And that particular problem was actually solved by a one, and I'm sure I'm butchering this name, Johnny Kalukla? Kalukla? I'm not sure. But the guy is a genius, and he figured out how to essentially roll back time in my tug world. Something weird I've noticed, though, you've probably seen this as I'm walking around. The world seems to have been regenerated or something. There's one biome here and then another biome there. But the build, I believe, I've been looking around. Sorry if you saw that sneak peek just up there. That's, that's for later. Uh, the build seems to all be intact, so I will be showcasing that. Uh, one thing, though, is that this build is not complete. It is massive, and there has been a lot done to it, but it is not complete in the sense that there's not a lot of detail to it. I essentially just got the basic structures built, and I feel that I'm finally at a point where I can show you guys what I have built so far. I'm just going to fly up to the top of this mountain. Oh, oh just on the left-hand side, you guys saw a little bit of it there, but I'm going to go ahead and start the flyover of the build and enjoy. This right here is actually a pillar I decorated slightly. I'm thinking about doing this for all the pillars, but I am going to be decorating the rest of the building, but that's going to be probably later on in the future, as I do have some other tug building projects in mind. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of this build. It is going to be fully downloadable in its current state, and I'm going to be putting a link to the download in the description. Also in the comments section, feel free to tell me how you think I should decorate this in the future. So that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I just want to give a huge thank you to Johnny for actually fixing this world because I would never have been able to make it without his help. 
My original plan was actually to just simply save the world and put it as a downloadable file and maybe post a few pictures, but he fixed everything and it finally works now, so I am so happy. And of course, I will be adding a link to his Twitter page down in the description. Feel free to follow him there on his Twitter page. He is also doing exciting things within the game of Tug. Don't forget to click that like or subscribe button to show your support for the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I'm gonna jump off the building here. Just see how long it takes. Whee! I'd probably die right there. And right here. One more. <laughs> That's a long drop.